all right, what up, YouTube? We're going to be fixing this guy's uh, tower. Let's check it out. Look at this thing. Terrible condition. Terrible condition. Look at this. She loves to rip it up with her claws. But we're going to fix that today. Actually, this is going to be the second time I've fixed it. You can tell this is a little bit browner from this is original rope that was on there. There's one that I did last time. She doesn't scratch that area. But what do you think? What do you think, Wolfcat? She says yes. All right, let's get let's get started. First thing I do, I'm gonna start at the bottom and I'm gonna take off the old rope that's got some staples in the back here. All right, back here you can see the uh, staples that are holding it in. Right there, I'm just gonna use this hook to take them out one at a time. So I'll do that all the way down, all the hooks. Let's see if I can get in closer right here. So you have to have a special, uh, well, you don't have to have special, but I, <clears throat> I have a special staple gun that I'm going to use to replace these staples. Actually, these are the ones that I put in. The original ones uh, had already been taken out before. So um, these are all staples that I put in with my staple gun. So if you don't have one of these tools that I'm using right here, um, I got this from Harbor Freight, came in a set different sizes let me show you here's another here's another one right here this is actually from a different set sorry here's the one from this set different sizes different tips works great for this type of stuff a couple other tools you might need is some needle nose pliers they don't have to be rusty like this one and some regular pliers and that is so that way you can pull the staples out if you if you don't if they don't come out all the way see that boom right there so you might need some pliers for that <clears throat> or if you need to get in there kind of tight you can use these you know those pliers all right, so I'm gonna finish taking off all these staples and then we should be good to go. All right, as you can see, we got rid of the old rope. I should have took a picture of it before I threw it away, but you can see where my cat has dug in her claws into this two by four. So probably better to replace this two by four, but I'm not gonna do that today. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the new rope on. Well, this is the one that I'm gonna use. It's this DeWalt multi-staple staple gun. It's a very heavy duty, fancy staple gun. You can use different types of staples as you can see right here. I'm gonna be using this, these ones. They're already loaded in there, sorry. So I can't show you what they look like, but they basically look like the picture right there. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna staple this on. So I had to go to Home Depot and get the right size rope for the staples that I'm using. So this is 3 8 uh, rope, it's 50 feet long, and it's rated up to 98 pounds. So they have different work working load limits. Uh, this is the 3 8 rope for 98 pounds. Let me show you the what it looks like. Here it is right here, I already started the process. This is what I was trying to use before, it was too thick. You can kind of tell here the difference. But for these staples that I have, these are T25 staples. They're rounded. Um, these will fit around this rope right here. They won't fit around this. This is too thick. 
So I have to go back and get some more of this rope. Um, I had this laying around. I thought I could use it, but wasn't able to use it. So I'll have to save it for some other purpose. So I went ahead and go ahead and started on here. You can see I'm already wrapping it. I just started at the top and then I wrap it around and every like four wraps, I put another staple and go four and then put another staple. And I'm stapling it from the back. So make sure you staple it in the back because you don't want your cat to get its claws on these metal staples that can mess up their, their nails. They can get hurt. So just go ahead and keep it kind of tight when you're wrapping it as you're going down. And I'll just keep doing this until I get to the bottom. So right here, you can see I just stapled it. So I'm, I'm gonna, I need two hands to do it, but just, you know, keeping it tight like that as I go around. And then after I go around four times, I'll put another staple. All right, so keeping it tight. One, two, three, one more time, or two more times. Three. I'll probably do one more before I staple it. Make sure it's wrapped tight and close together. Take your staple gun. There's a little dip right here. Make sure you get the rope on that. Boom. There you go. Just repeat the process. Just wanted to show you a technique that made it a little bit easier for me. I'm using my cell phone so I can see behind the two by four. And that way I can sit comfortably as I wrap it around and then hold it tight and then make sure it looks good from the front front end. Make sure my, my uh, loops are nice and even and flat and uh, then once I get to the fourth one, one, two, I will staple it. And that's when I get down on my back to staple it from behind. But as I'm wrapping it, I'm just staying up here up on top, having a seat, and then just wrapping it around. So now that I've got to the fourth one, I'm going to switch positions. Get down here with the staple gun. Holding it with the other hand, and then I'm gonna hit it with the staple. You want to put pressure so that the staple, um, you know, seats correctly. So make sure you push. You're pushing on the head of the staple up against the the wood holding it like that make sure you don't have a gap when you staple it you have to push it up against the the rope so it staples correctly so i'm almost done here i'm going to show you how it's coming along on the front i'm almost done here at the bottom all the rest looks nice so just wrap it around a couple more times and then staple all right, so once you get to the end, you just cut it and you wanna cut it in the back so that way there's nothing hanging out. So we're just gonna cut it about right here. And I'm gonna do that before I staple it just so it's easier for me to cut. All right, so I'm just gonna staple it right there. All right, folks, so there it is. Nicely done finished repaired that's what it used to look like before that's what it looks like now so this is the next one and uh i almost used the whole roll of rope for just this piece right here um this piece is a little bit longer so i'll probably just use a new bundle of rope so i can just have one continuous piece going all the way but i'll let you know how it comes out
actually able to salvage some of the old rope down here at the bottom. It's still in decent shape. And I just replaced the top half of it. Um, I think the new one I bought is a little bit thicker, so it'll probably last longer. But yeah, this is the old piece that that's, uh, you know, all torn up and stuff. So there's the two bottom pieces. This one will be a little bit easier because you don't have to lay down on the ground and you can just wrap it around. It's nothing, as, not as many things in the way like these two poles here. So this will be easier for you. And that'll be even easier because it's just one, nothing in the way. You can stand up while you're doing it. So yeah, just one left to go. I'll probably try to save, you know, the rope from here down, just reuse that and then just replace the top piece. You won't even be able to tell where the new and the old piece come from. folks all done bottom middle and top again i saved the uh the stuff that was already there from here down just unraveled it from here up and then just put the new rope here and i think it matches pretty good it's a little bit different color but not too bad so don't throw away your cat towers just fix it yourself diy and keep it Keep it going for another few years. All right, folks. Hope you like the video.